Hello and welcome to this short video about the Teaching Primary Food and Nutrition Professional Development Programme. In this video, I'm just briefly going to go through what the programme is all about, how it works and why um, you should get involved. So firstly, the programme is a professional development programme uh, aimed at people in primary schools who are teaching food and nutrition lessons. So this could be primary school teachers or trainee teachers or teaching assistants. The overall purpose of the programme is really to help build confidence and competence in teaching food and nutrition. Uh, with the, hopefully the overall aim of supporting high quality food and nutrition lessons and um, helping champion a whole school approach to food. So the reason why we've developed this programme um, at the British Nutrition Foundation is because we know that when uh, primary teachers particularly are training, there's very little or no, none at all um, training in food and nutrition. Um, then teachers, as they get into schools or even teaching assistants working in schools, there's very little opportunity for CPD specifically in food and nutrition, as it's generally seen as a relatively small part of the curriculum. Um, training courses obviously have time implications, cost implications, and perhaps, um, you know, senior leadership in the school would perhaps be um, hoping its teachers or teaching assistants would, you know, do, do training in core subjects like numeracy and literacy. So there's little for teachers once they actually get into the classroom or for teaching assistants to help them um, develop professionally in teaching food and nutrition. And of course, this then leaves um, practitioners, you know, perhaps a little bit unclear on what should be taught and how to do it. Um, and we know there's some very sort of specific challenges with teaching food in a primary school classroom in terms of organisation, management um, and, you know, sort of resourcing those lessons. So it's quite a unique subject where really CPD is, is needed. So the content of the um, programme is based around two documents um, that have been around for, for a few years now. So one document is the Food Teaching in Primary Schools, a Framework of Knowledge and Skills. And this is a document developed um, by government alongside the British Nutrition Foundation and a number of other organisations um, with expertise in food and teaching um, to put together this framework. And then the characteristics of good practice, that's a sort of exemplification of what good food teaching looks like in primary schools. Um, and that includes case studies and um, other information. So the, the new programme is very much based on the sound, tried and tested documents um, written by experts um, in, in the field of food, nutrition and education. So how does it work? So um, first of all, the, the primary practitioner will register to be part of the programme. Um, it's, a, it's a short registration, around five minutes. And as part of this, there is an audit that's based around eight areas of practice, which you can just see um, on the screen there. So there'll be various questions and um, uh, the, the person registering will be asked to rate themselves against various statements underneath these eight areas. And we do ask people to be really honest when they do that, because the only reason they're, they're rating is so that they can look honestly at where they are and where they want to be. And also in an anonymous um, way, it helps us at the British Nutrition Foundation look afterward, afterwards at where you know, the majority started and where they were at the end, and hopefully, so that we can see the benefits of the programme in helping people with their learning journey. So once the audit's taken place, this will be um, emailed back to the registrant for their records, and then it comes to writing a plan for how they're going to um, move forward with their, with their learning. Um, so we have documents such as this development plan here that can be used to help people plan uh, what they want to do, how they're going to do it, when they're going to do it, who's going to help them, etc. So this can all be kind of planned out. So it's a very personalised journey. And that's why I say it's important to be honest with the audit um, and to complete this yourself. And it's, it's your journey. It's the individual's journey um, for them to, to move through how they wish. 
So step three is to take action. So the what's been planned in the development plan, then we will be asking the, the primary practitioners to undertake these activities. So it might be attending courses or presentations, but as we've mentioned already, cost and time can be a barrier to, to some of these. So we also suggest lots of other um, CPD opportunities too. And there might be things that people are not always considered um, being CP, uh, CPD. So for example, reading articles or doing research, um, observing colleagues, maybe going to visit colleagues in a different school um, or testing practical skills or recipes at home. Um, so all sorts of ideas that we'll be sharing as part of the programme um, to help people really plan and um, build their own CPD programme. Then after this comes reflection. So this is thinking about what's happened, how it's impacted teaching. So a really important part of this programme is self-reflection. Um, and that's really what, what uh, takes you on the whole journey. So looking at where you are, what you need, how that helps, how you move on, what you need next. So it's a kind of a circular journey um, and very much so tailored to yourself. You guide it, you lead it. It's it's to there to work for you. So reflection, really important. And it's we don't often get the time we need really to reflect on lots of things that we um, do in our, our professional lives. So this is the opportunity to really bring food and nutrition to the forefront and dedicate some time to um, reflecting on that and and, you know, polishing it and, and making it really great. And then finally, step five is keeping a record of the professional development that you've undertaken and celebrating success. So keeping a record is really important so you know what you've done and also so that you can look back and you know, feel proud and happy with the things you've done. So you could be keeping certificates or information about events you tra uh, attended, sorry, training events you've attended or, you know, perhaps a, a list of things you've read, um, you know, so you've got this, this full record of, of everything you've done. Um, and just to, to introduce at this point, the professional portfolio. So we are going to be um, producing uh, 1,500 professional portfolios. So that's like a physical, a physical binder and booklet. So these will be available to the first 1,500 uh, regist uh, registrants. Um, so there will be a folder and then a booklet that goes in it, which has information, checklists, ideas, tips, etc. Um, if you if you don't manage to get one of those, that's OK. Um, it'll all be available to download. You just won't have a sort of a, a physical copy of a, a folder. And those folders will be sent out at the end of January, March and June in 2023. And then just to say as well, at BNF, through our education programme, Food A Fact of Life, we'll be providing lots of training events. And we've already got the first six months of uh, 2023 already covered online, um, an outline of what we're going to be providing. So there'll be uh, webinars and there'll also be workshops. So that's where people can actually, you know, cook along or, um, you know, make and try different skills. Um, with us and, and ask questions. So it's inter interactive as well. Um, so those events will run from January 2023. And our programme is a two year programme. Um, and that's the sort of time period that we'll be providing information, signposting resources, running training. Um, so it's great if, if uh, we can get registered as soon as possible. And, and then you get the full two years of the programme. But obviously, it doesn't need to end there. It's a personal journey. That's just to get you started and you can continue yourself from that point. So just a quick reflection on why we might do this. So um, it's for personal and professional development to help uh, give you the confidence and competence to teach uh, food and nutrition really well and to a high level in school. So it's development for yourself. Um, having a portfolio and keeping it all together in a structured way um, actually provides evidence to support for performance management and possibly when looking at you know, promotion opportunities in the future, there's some evidence there to show the CPD journey you've been on. And also it's free. This is a really unique opportunity. Uh, we've been lucky to receive financial support from the All Saints Educational Trust, uh, which has enabled us to develop the programme and produce the physical printed resources. Um, so we're very grateful um, to them.
So just to say, get involved. Um, it is for the uh, primary schools. So we'll be looking for people who are working in primary schools, the teachers, trainees and assistants. Uh, when you register, there will be, there are a few sort of um, gentle expectations um, put down there. We would particularly really like to make sure that people complete their personal audit at the beginning, um, that they engage with the programme and um, also that any events and um, uh, you know events or workshops they attend, they evaluate and that they'll do a short evaluation at the end as well. So not a huge um, commitment in that way, but just to help us assess how the programme's gone. I say in return, the British Nutrition Foundation will be providing training, signposting and support to help people move through the programme. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact us. Um, my name is Claire and you can contact myself or my colleagues on education at nutrition.org.uk. Thank you.